Well, the season to date, um, this is probably the best season I've had since returning to racing. This is my third season back, and uh, it's going about as well as I could hope. Um, I'm leading all three of my classes now, middleweight GP, um, GTU, and middleweight Formula 40. Um, I've had some good luck, um, but I've also uh, ridden well and finished all my races. Um, so. I really couldn't be much happier with the season so far. Yeah, so Paul's been riding really good this year. Uh, he's been super consistent and, you know, to be completely honest, I'd like to uh, see someone someone new on top. Uh, it's always good to see uh, more people battling for the win and, uh, yeah, more competition. Uh, season's gone, you know, it's going okay, I guess. Uh, it's racing, so it has its highs and its lows. Um, and uh, we've been uh, had a little bit of a challenge in nutrition in a couple of rounds, so uh, we find ourselves leading the championship in uh, quite a few of the classes, and uh, and uh, not leading the championships in one of the important classes. So uh, it'll, the last few rounds here will uh, will tell a lot, I guess. First half's been going pretty good. Uh, been making some changes on the bike. Uh, still getting used to it after uh, coming off of a lightweight bike. Uh, pretty big change, but. Yeah, we're, we're getting used to it and making progress. So. Uh, it's been up and down, had a couple good results, uh, got down to some low 14s, couple uh, downs, you know, the classic didn't go the way I wanted to, unfortunately had a bad start from the fifth spot on the grid. Ended up way back in like 20th and just couldn't make my way back to the field, ended up pulling off, so it was a little disappointing. So it leaves me sixth in middleweight Grand Prix. Couple guys in front of me, but a few points. But I'm real hopeful to be uh, competitive, you know. But these guys are all, everyone here is fast, so there ain't nobody uh, messing around. Anyone gonna give uh, an inch? Yeah, so the Dash for Cash, um, I'm sitting with a 36 point lead at the halfway mark, um, which is pretty surprising. Um, Scott had, a, I think, a mechanical DNF in one round, and um, he did not come to Jersey, uh, where I picked up some good points. Um, so I'm, I'm sitting with a pretty good lead. Um, but this season we have 10 points paying rounds, uh, which is, means there's still a lot of points left on the table. Um, really under no illusion that um, if, if Scott finishes all the rest of the races that I can, that I can keep my lead. But, uh, but I'm gonna do my best to uh, finish as well as I can and keep my points uh, as high as I can. So if there are any mistakes out there, um, I can take advantage of them and uh, maybe wrap it up. Yeah, you know, we got uh, four rounds left in the middle of GP, and uh, uh, I got a pretty, uh, pretty big points deficit that I'm working against. So uh, I just have to be, I have to be uh, on and uh, not make any big mistakes. Uh, score points from here on out, and uh, try to claw my way back into uh, uh, into that fight for the championship. You know, we got a pretty big gap from second to third, but the the gap from first to second is huge. So. Um, the goal is to win the championship, and that's why we uh, we come here and race. So uh, we'll give it our best effort to uh, to try to win out. And uh, if we can't win out, you know, just try to get as much points as we can and and see what we can claw back and uh, see if we can get back in this thing by October. Yeah, I, to be honest, uh, I'm kind of surprised that we're in fourth place. Uh, wasn't really expecting to be contending for the championship like this, but. Um, yeah, I'm excited to uh, see if we can get on to uh, the top three, uh, the, the championship. Uh, it's going to be a very competitive race. Um, Paul Duvall's got a pretty good size lead on Scott and the rest of the field. But obviously we know how Scott and Sam can uh, do on a daily basis every race round. Um, I'm sixth, hoping to move up. Hopefully that double points weekend will play in my favor. Like I said before, a couple guys got a few points on me, but hopefully something I can climb out of. So uh, I chose the Kawasaki uh, mainly because 
We've been getting a lot of support from uh, Sauhegan Valley Motorsports and Kawasaki's their uh, their bike. So I figured that we could uh, try and represent them with another Kawasaki on the grid and see how good we can do. Uh, 2021 is going pretty good so far. Leading championship for Thunderbike and Super Twins. Uh, also second place in Formula 40 Lights. Uh, having a good time. Last year, uh, I was kind of chasing down the leader, and this year I'm out front, so I'm trying to put in the laps on my own uh, without without getting a tow. And I'm pretty happy with that. I got a, a really good out lap, uh, so just trying to put in the laps on my own without without the carrot uh, has kind of been my challenge this year. And having a good time racing, uh, Jim Ridge, Brett Geyer, some of the guys that I run with, uh, good classes, good guys to be with, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, first half of the season has been up and down. Between here and Moto America, uh, did some good uh, results in Moto America. Been doing pretty good here. Dropped into 14-2 yesterday and uh, had to crash. But, you know, it's been pretty good. I'm happy with how it's gone so far. So far, season's been relatively difficult. Uh, we had some bike problems in the second round um, that trying to remedy now. And then uh, with round two kind of being me riding the rain bike and just kind of floating around trying to get points. Um, my old man was scrambling to get parts, get everything dialed in for the Super Sport. Um, ended up surprising me with this thing and uh, just kind of trying to get acclimated on that. But so far, ups and downs, but mostly uh, struggles this year, but having a good time. Uh, yeah, the first half of the season has been very interesting for me this year. Uh, two brand new motorcycles to me, this uh, Kramer that I'm riding and a CRF 450R Supermoto. So that's been a lot of fun learning a couple new bikes. The Kramer and I are trying to figure each other out and it seems like I've spent a lot of time on the ground, a lot more than I normally would in a, in a race season, but I've had a couple of wins and uh, leading lightweight sportsman. Uh, so that's going really well and, and doing really well in some other classes, be second and third in points in some other areas. So all in all, a, a mixed bag for the first half for sure, but uh, a lot of positive takeaway. The first half of the season has been great. Um, I came into it with uh, some, uh, some motivation from last year to do a little bit better. Uh, not that it was a terrible season, uh, but coming in with motivation is important for me. Uh, the first half was good, uh, chasing down Gunner. Gunner's been really fast this year, uh, but I've seemed to have been able to get right back where I ended last year. So it's been good so far this year, uh, second in points in Motard, and uh, coming in this, with some momentum this round. Uh, for the rest of the, ch uh, the, rest of the season, for championship-wise, I just want to try to put in clean laps, try to get my personal best down. Uh, you know, that's always everybody's kind of goal is to, to do their best. So I'd say really my focus, even at the beginning of the year, was more to do my best and get my lap times as good as I can. And kind of where I, where I land uh, points-wise wasn't super critical. I didn't go to Jersey, so I kind of had the championship thing out of my head. Uh, so for me, it's been more personal getting, uh, becoming a better rider myself. So if I can continue doing that throughout the year and uh, I end up staying up on top, great. Uh, if somebody beats me and I chase them down to fast lap times, I'd be happy with that too. Uh, so going on to the second half of the season, I want that 13 on the Motard. Obviously I want to get better than this 400 because there's something going on with me in it and I just got to figure it out. Uh, obviously I want to get on that podium at Moto America and uh, finally get up there and show what I can do and uh, you know, finish it out it's pretty strong. Yeah, um, second, second half of the season, hopefully we can finish strong and start to gain points back. Um, after the blow up and, and uh, having issues with the bike. Um, definitely down on points and uh, it's easy to get discouraged there. So definitely just try to keep my head down and put down good laps and learn on this thing and try to become a better rider and do what I know how to do. Second half of the year, uh, I'm, I feel like it can be very positive. Uh, I continue to, to learn and get laps on the bikes and I'm getting quicker. Uh, I, feel like as I get more time, I'll get more consistent for sure. Uh, I feel feel good about lightweight sportsmen at this point. I have 19 points uh, on second and I um, uh, feel like I can be very consistent. So as long as I can keep, keep in the top two or three every round, I, I think I should be able to close it out.
So the second half of the season, uh, I've got high hopes for myself. Um, been doing really good here, but I got an opportunity to go down to New Jersey to race for one of our rounds. Um, and that track is obviously very different than Loudoun. It's a lot more flowy than this track. This one's more point and shoot. So I learned a little bit uh, different skills down there, and I'm trying to apply them here. It seems to be working out pretty well. I'm hoping to drop my lap times a little bit more. Um, second place in all three of my championships kind of puts a little pressure on me. Um, but I think we got what it takes to, to at least keep that and maybe chase for one of those championships. thing that I, uh, I want to make sure everybody uh, thinks about and understands is riding a bike like this, riding a 200 horsepower motorcycle, as scary as it is, is some of the most fun that I've ever had on a racetrack. The people that we get to race with and how close the racing is and being able to race against some of the best riders in New England, uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know, the, the bikes are scary, the bikes are fast, the brakes are strong. But man, it is the most fun motorcycle that I've ever ridden.